Todd. Hi, I guess this question is to either Amy or Tina. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I think I'm the only renter in the uh, Cocoa Council uh, Board of Directors. So, so talk about being a minority, you know, it's like worse than being like a Republican, I think, in the ledge. And I'll have a question for Diamond later, but this, this question is about uh, rentals. I know there was, uh, there were those, I was following those two uh, uh, rental proposals bills, and of course they died. And then there is a kind of a companion uh, Senate bill, and of course that died. And, uh, oh, I wanted to point out, um, I'm 70 years old. I'm working full-time, getting uh, early social security. I'm a renter. Uh, I got a great landlady who, I, who is an older person too. I'm living in the house uh, that she grew up in. So I got, I got local kind rent control. You know, I'm an old guy. She's not gonna raise the rent on me or, or if she does gonna be a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, but that's less and less the case as different owners come in for reasons of making a profit. Now, rent control, and then I wanted to mention because Nani and, and uh, Diamond are here, uh, in 2014, I was homeless for a little while. And I met, that's where I met a lot of Hawaiians, you know, so I get to tell people, yeah, for a little while, I lived in a Hawaiian neighborhood, I was homeless. And that's really shameful, I think. You know, it's kind of offensive that Hawaiians can be homeless in their homeland. Uh, anyway, okay, I don't want to make this too long. Uh, my question really is, uh, let me share the screen. Um, is that, uh, I don't know if you can see the screen, but uh, that this is a picture of, uh, it was a picture of uh, Western Europe. Some people say that lack of rent control is because we have a very holy system. But most of Western Europe has rent control. Uh, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, all the um, um, Scandinavian countries. So my question is, what the heck prevents any kind of expectation of a rent control measure to even get heard and discussed in Hawaii? And that goes to either Tina or Amy. Uh, I can start, but then uh, I'll need Tina to pick it up because <laughs> I'm not really well. <laughs> but I'll just say that um, I think we, there is a, a different history. There's a, a, there was a stronger labor movement, a stronger, stronger workers movement in Europe. And it, particularly in places, for example, if you consider the Vienna model um, of social housing, um, that was really uh, undergirded by really strong um, social movements and, um, and, and workers movements. So I think that in the United States and in Hawaii, um, while we have had some of that, and in Hawaii we've had our labor history is important, um, the outcomes have been different and, and we don't see <clears throat> the um, uh, real interest in working class people or real support for working class people is what I would say, like actual tangible support for working class people in our policies. And that that's one real important way in which we differ from Scandinavia and the rest of Europe. And Tina, I don't know if you want to add to that. Sure. Um, I agree with all of that. I also think like, you know, growing up here, my parents are landlords too. Um, I think that we, we like you said, Doug, you have like local kind rent control. I think that a lot of us, um, we understand that um, investing in property is one of the ways that our families make sure they can stay here if they have the means to do that. And a lot of us have been lucky enough to have landlords who are, you know, local folks. Um, and we kind of accept that as, uh, I mean, hopefully many of us have been lucky enough to uh experience a landlord who is fair and who um, thinks of who acknowledges that when we rent that's also like our home but I think that uh, so I feel like in some ways um, tenants uh, haven't advocated for themselves either for for some of those reasons but um, it's important that we do partially because um, even mom and pop landlords you know have uh, 
vastly more power than the tenants who rent from them. But also because, like you said, the faces of who our landlords are are changing very rapidly. Um, Out-of-state investors are buying up homes, so we many of us will never, ever know our landlords anymore. Also, corporate corporations are investing in multifamily um, residential developments um, and entering into the um, rental market in like very, very rapidly. Um, so I think that when we look, because, you know, rent control and just cause eviction measures, they don't, uh, they're not just a European thing either. Um, California has them, Massachusetts, New York, Oregon, um, Washington, D.C., all of these um, places on the continent have um, implemented these measures or expanded existing measures through because tenants have been organizing because what's happening in Hawaii um, now has been happening there for a lot longer. Um, so they've they've kind of um, seen that necessity. Um, so yeah, I think I, I, that's my answer for like on a more individual level why maybe um, we haven't seen the kinds of um, tenant organizing that other places have.